Hey everyone, I'm Mike from Pestler. So, have you ever wanted to interpret your monitoring data in a more visual way? Are you having a hard time separating your status donuts from your sunbursts? Well, you're in the right place. Let's take a closer look at dashboards. So, what are dashboards and why use them? You've set up your monitoring tool to keep an eye on your network and let you know if there are any issues you need to be aware of. All of your devices and sensors are ticking along nicely, but you need a way of displaying all that data in a more visual and simplistic way. That's where dashboards come into play. Dashboards give you a graphical overview of your network layout. If it exists as an object on your network, the chances are you can display its real-time data in a dashboard. In essence, a dashboard is a bespoke live overview in the form of an HTML page. As an example, we can demonstrate with Pacer's PRTG network monitor. Its map features can display objects from PRTG such as devices, sensors, graphs, even weather data and webcams, to name a few. Throw in some custom HTML and you've got a customizable, real-time, great-looking dynamic dashboard. And to top it all off, the whole thing looks fantastic when displayed on a big screen, even allowing you to incorporate your own graphics like company logos, for example. Now, it's all very well having a beautifully designed dashboard that shows you if it's raining outside your corporate HQ, but what do dashboards really do for you? Well, a big draw straight away is being able to visually identify potential problems on your network before they even happen. What about creating a custom list of sensors from a group that you can publish on your intranet for others in your organization to see? Or keep up to date with your networks on the other side of the world by using live info from GeoMaps? Dashboards give you a whole new way to visualize your monitoring data just the way you want. So what should you be looking for in a dashboard? First up, color coding. A good dashboard can be critical in the upkeep and maintenance of your network. So a hugely important attribute here is fast identification of problems, so color coding is a must. Specifically in PRTG, the color coded status icons of devices let you identify issues before they become a problem. You're able to represent objects in graphical ways, such as status donuts, which instantly let you know if there's an issue. PRTG's maps can quickly become your first port of call for troubleshooting and helping you to prevent network issues in the first place. Next, grouping. Having too much information on the dashboard at the same time can actually make your job more difficult. If you're trying to represent every single object on your network in the same layout, you might make it harder to identify problems. So, the key here is that your dashboard needs to let you represent objects in groups. Take PRTG, for example. You can organize your devices and centers into groups and libraries. These can then be shown live on your map to give you an overview of a custom list of objects, still allowing you to avoid issues with specific network elements, but at the same time, keeping things less cluttered. Next, full coverage. Modern organizations consist of more than just workstations, servers, and switches. As well as traditional devices, companies need to monitor things like IoT devices, applications, and cloud services, to name just a few. And what about operational technology firms with factory floors that need monitoring? A good dashboard will let you pull data from all across your IT infrastructure, no matter what type of device. All of these elements make up a complex ecosystem, and your dashboard needs to let you represent all of it. Next, flexibility. Another huge aspect of modern organizations is that they are not all based in one place. Companies incorporate different sites and locations that span the globe, and your dashboard needs to let you represent that. Being able to manipulate data from all locations in one centralized layout. Next, Customization. So it's great being able to display all your monitoring data from all your devices and locations, but what if you want to get creative? Part of the draw of dashboards is that they represent your network. So the ability to customize the way your layout looks is really important. Take Pestler PRTG, for instance. In your map, you can add custom HTML to really inject some flair into your design. You don't just want out-of-the-box designs, you want to put your own personal stamp on your dashboard. Finally, sharing. The final thing you should be looking for in a good dashboard is the ability to share it. What's the point of having a great-looking live layout if you're the only one to see it? 
you're going to want to share it with others and let them make good use of it as well. In PRTG, every map you create has an individual URL that you can use to let others see it. You can either limit access to the dashboard to just your PRTG user groups, which means that only users who have access to your PRTG instance will be able to see your map, or you can publish your map externally, allowing only a group to see it with a unique map ID access key. Or you can let the whole world appreciate all your hard work and make it public. Before we move on, if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and maybe give us a like. And if you have some topics that you'd like us to cover, just let us know in the comments below. So next up, best practices. That gives you an overview of what dashboards can and should do for you. But just before you dive into building one, let's have a look at some best practices and good habits to keep in mind when designing your dashboard. First, think about where it's going to be displayed. Dashboards can genuinely be viewed in a lot of different situations, so you need to think about where it's going to be displayed. Is it being designed for displaying on notebooks and laptops or on a giant screen in your corporate foyer? Different screens have different aspect ratios and resolutions, so keep that in mind when you're designing it. In the case of PRTG, did you know your map can be dynamically adjusted to where it's being displayed? In your map settings tab, just set the automatic scaling setting to scale map view to fit browser size. This will go a long way to making sure your layout still looks good on different screens. Next, keep it simple. Simplicity is key with a good dashboard layout. Don't try and show too much on one level. If there's a problem with your network, it'll be harder to deal with it if things are overcrowded in your layout. Instead, keep things summarized and then you can dive deeper if there's an issue. Next, use links. Linking objects together on your stage can really help with troubleshooting and efficiency. If possible, you should connect objects together to represent dependencies. Again, in the case of PRTG, connecting items together, also called linking, will modify the color of the links between the objects to represent their status. Now, this can really save you time in identifying devices or sensors that are down or in a warning state. Next, use meaningful dashboard names. Now, this one sounds pretty obvious, but trust me, it can come back to bite you. Giving your dashboard meaningful names will save you huge amounts of time when you're trying to locate them. Take PRTG's maps. Pretty quickly, you can rack up quite a few different layouts in your map list. The default name for any new map in the designer is, unsurprisingly, map. While that's to the point, it can get pretty confusing pretty quickly if you can't locate the layout you need. So the best idea is to give every new dashboard an appropriate name. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. So that's the end of our deep dive into dashboards. You now know what you need to look for in a good dashboard and what to keep in mind when designing it. But the best way to find out what you can create is to dive in yourself and start mapping your own network layout. Why not try PRTG to build your first dashboard? For more detailed information on any aspect of its map designer, have a look at our website. Or we have two tutorials in maps in PRTG, which I've linked for you below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.